This is a H-Bridge L298 module that can control two motors through these output ports. It has a set of data pins along the front of it. The first three control the motor on the left side. The second set of three control the motor on the right side. The module takes input power through these two points and can output 5 volts to power your Arduino or other device. This is a pair of DC motors that we're going to use our H-Bridge controller to control. This is an ESP8266 module. It's the version 2. Uh, it's got lots of digital outputs and we're going to use this to control our H-Bridge. This is the H-Bridge connected to the ESP8266 module. You can see the leftmost pin is the throttle. Then you've got the forward and the reverse. And you've got the same controls for the second module with the throttle on the right and forward and reverse. To do our throttling, we're going to use a technique called pulse width modulation. To use pulse width modulation, we need to connect the H bridge to any of the D ports lower than 10 on the ESP8266. We've also connected our power supply. To power this project, we're going to use an old PC power supply. Turn on the power supply. I've disconnected the green and black wire from this connector here. And I'm going to use a pair of crocodile clips. Which is now turned on the power supply. I'm now going to use 5 volts from one of the red wires coming out of the power supply to connect it to our H-bridge. We've now connected one of the motors to the output on the H-bridge. And now we've connected our ESP8266 via USB to our PC. We are now ready to send input commands to the motor. The motor has been told to start moving in a forward direction. The motor is now receiving the input command from the computer via the 8266. Now to test out its pulse width modulation capabilities, watch as I increase the speed of the motor.